Women are disproportionately burdened by the sequelae of sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. Doxycycline post-exposure prophylaxis, or PEP, has been shown to prevent STIs among cisgender men and transgender women, but data on cisgender women are lacking. In this randomized open-label trial, 449 women in Kenya, who were between 18 and 30 years of age and who were taking HIV pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP, were assigned to receive PEP with 200 mg of doxycycline hyclate to be taken within 72 hours after condomless sex or standard care. The primary efficacy endpoint was any incident infection with chlamydia trachomatis, Neisseria gonorrhea, or Treponema pallidum. During 12 months of follow-up, there were a total of 109 incident infections, 50 in the doxycycline PEP group, and 59 in the standard care group. There were no significant differences between the groups in the incidence of STIs. In other outcomes, the time to first incident STI, or to first incident infection with C. trachomatis, which accounted for the majority of infections, also did not differ between the groups. Use of doxycycline PEP, as assessed with the use of visits in which hair samples were evaluated, was low among 50 randomly selected participants. Doxycycline was detected in hair samples from 58 of 200 quarterly visits, or 29%. All Neisseria gonorrhea isolates were tetracycline resistant. There were no serious adverse events related to doxycycline. The most commonly reported adverse effect was nausea. The authors conclude that among women taking HIV PrEP in Kenya, doxycycline PEP did not significantly reduce the incidence of STI, while objective assessments suggested that doxycycline use was low and tetracycline resistance in Neisseria gonorrhea was high. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.